we have initiated our project in the last tutorial it's time to install the metamask wallet extension in the browser metamask is the wallet and also an web3 provider any user who wants to interact with the dapp based on ethereum should have an account and a wallet the account in the metamask is an identity of that particular user from the application's point of view also when dapp is connected with metamask it will get its web3 provider automatically since metamask uses infura as web3 provider under the hood so the metamask or any wallet is a crucial part in building any ethereum dapp plus metamask is the most famous wallet which is built by consensus now we will see how to connect a web app with metamask firstly install metamask web extension for your browser and then complete the setup when you have completed setting up an account in metamask let's head over to the app.js file in our project let's add an event called dom content loaded this event will be triggered when all the html elements are rendered in our browser this is where we will write our code this event will ensure that javascript code will run after all the dom content is loaded and we won't miss any part in this event let's write one if condition and here if we will check if window.ethereum is not equal to undefined basically javascript has this window object in build which accesses the browser properties including events such as mouse handlers and keyboard handlers and also an injected properties this ethereum object is actually induced by metamask in the window object so whenever the user has a metamask extension installed and also enabled in the browser our code will be able to fetch this ethereum object through metamask if the user hasn't installed the metamask extension then window.ethereum will be undefined so this is how we will check if a user has installed a metamask extension or not it's as simple as this when our code detects metamask we will console the messages that the metamask is installed otherwise it will throw an alert asking user for installing metamask now let's test this make sure that you have a server running on that defined port since in this browser we have metamask installed we are getting a metamask installed message in our console window now let's change the browser where metamask is not installed and refresh this page as you can see we are getting the alert from the browser that please install the metamask so this is how you can check if user has installed the metamask web extension or not in the browser now let's try to get the connected wallet's address in our web app since fetching accounts api returns a promise we need to use await await is only valid in asynchronous functions so we need to make this function asynchronous with async and fetch accounts with ethereum dot request and pass eth underscore request accounts method which will return an array of connected accounts we will check it by printing the accounts in the console let's head back to our browser and refresh the page now that we are trying to get the users information first it will ask for permission to connect the metamask to our web app let's connect metamask and open the console and as you can see we have successfully fetched an user's account address you can fetch various details like user's account balance or any token balances for that you can follow metamask documentation in next part we will be initiating web3 in our web app and deploy smart contract on robston test network using remix ide